Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. I think I'm gonna choose image two as AI. Let's see the answer. Oh my gosh, maybe I should have gone with my gut. So you might know iStock as a provider of high quality stock photos and footage. And while that's true, they also released a brand new text to image tool called Generative AI by iStock. And in my opinion, iStock's Generative AI is setting a great example for how AI can be positive for everyone. I can type in a text prompt and with Nvidia's Picasso, which is what powers it, it will create a new image for me based on that prompt. And it's important to note that the AI only trains itself based on the iStock library. And iStock also makes it very clear that the owners of the images that AI uses to train itself are also compensated. Let's try out some generations, shall we? So here from the AI generator tab, I can write down in detail what I want the AI to generate. And if you're not sure what will make a good prompt, you can use their prompt builder here to guide you through writing the perfect prompt. And here you can even write the things that you don't want in your image using the negative prompt option. Now, before I hit generate here, let's check out some more options on the side. Here I can pick if I want my images to be more photo real or an illustration. I can also choose the aspect ratio and even the mood of the image. Let's generate. After a few seconds, the AI will generate four images for me to choose from. And if I'm not satisfied with the results, I can always regenerate. So each generation will cost one generation and it's based on a credit system. So you can download any of these images here for free because you already use that generation. And if you wanna download an upscaled version that will cost one additional generation. And what I like is I only have to pay once to get 100 generations. And if I run out, I can always buy more. There's no subscription. Oh, and did I mention that all of these images are free to use in commercial use? and the images that you generate are also not available to others to use in the iStock library. So these images will really truly be unique to your project because no one else will generate the same image as you because no one will have access to this image that you generate. To really test out these AI images, I had my team put together a quiz using iStock's real photos and generated AI images to see if I could tell the difference. Before we start, hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm the creator of Premiere Gal and if you want to learn more about video editing, photography, audio editing, my friend, you are in the right place. Here on the channel, you'll find loads of free learning materials to help you become a better creator. And they're free thanks to my sponsors and people that support me through my Patreon. So thank you to iStock for sponsoring today's video. And if you want to master AI video, I'm working on a new mini course. You can sign up for my waitlist by going to premiergal.com slash AI. All right, so why don't you play along with me? Let's start the quiz. All right, here's round one. Ding, 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 ding. The first set here we have rock climbers. So on the right, the right arm of the woman climber is a little smaller than the left, but it could just be the angle here. Nothing looks super off. The only thing on the left that I can see that is kind of off is on the leg. There's something that looks like a chalk bag on his left leg in the image. So that's the thing that's kind of pointing me to that image as being AI. So let's see the results. It's AI, I guess correct. So human gal one AI zero so far, but still it was a great image. Oh no, we have an illustration this time. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. They're both really, really nice illustrations. The one on the left looks almost too perfect. The one on the right, I'm like, it clearly looks like the ship is in distress in a storm. The angle of the sails looks different than the boat itself, if you know what I mean. So. For that reason, I think I'm gonna choose image two as AI. Let's see the answer. Number one is AI generated. Oh my gosh, maybe I should have gone with my gut that it looked almost too perfect. That's really good. And actually, as I zoom in here, you can see the little holes along the boat. Those aren't really perfect and that's kind of a giveaway and I should have looked at that a little bit closer here, but overall, it fooled me. And the prompt for this was oil painting of an old wooden ship at sea in the middle of a storm with big waves. It fit the prompt. Aw, we have a little doggos. Immediately in the left image, I see that left eye is throwing me off. There's like a little insect or something, or it could be an AI air, not sure. On the right, the grass looks very realistic. The details in both are great. Now the eye thing, it could have been something that Jiva, my editor, chose specifically to throw me off, but I'm gonna go with my gut here and say that that is an AI issue. 
Something that I couldn't quite figure out with the eye. So let's see the results. Number one is AI generated. Got it right. So now we have two out of three so far. And this was the prompt that was given. Portrait of a dog in the cornfield, low depth of field. And it did a great job with the depth of field. On the right, you can see that there is that kind of blurriness in the background because of the depth of field. And same with the image on the left. It's a portrait photo. Oh, we got a clown here. Okay. The one on the left is definitely giving me horror film vibes and the teeth are throwing me off. There's like so many teeth there. And on the right, only thing that's kind of catching my eye here is that there's kind of like two ties happening. There's the bow tie and then there's the tie beneath it. It's like half of a tie that's just kind of floating there. For that reason, I'm kind of leaning towards number two as the AI generated one. Let's see. And there we go. Number two is AI generated. And if I look closer here, the eyes also on image two look a little bit off. So I'm surprised I didn't see that one looks a little bit smaller than the other, but it, it could be real. All right, let's see the prompt. Scary evil clown standing in front of the circus tent. For sure, the one on the left is definitely more scary, but they're both kind of creepy. Another illustration. I'm not feeling confident about this one. Looking at both of them here, the one on the left looks like it was like more of a pen drawing. The one on the right looks more like a pencil charcoal drawing. The one on the left looks a little bit off. Like it looks like it could be like a rabbit head, like on a dog body, but it's not quite sure. A little bit too much of a hump happening, but I mean, it could just be the artist's choice. I'm gonna go with number one just because of that body head issue disparity. All right, let's see the result. And number two is AI generated. What? The illustrations are always harder. Let's see the prompt. Pencil drawing of a rabbit. Very simple. Here we are with round six with snowboarders or a skier. On the left, it clearly looks like a well-proportioned snowboard. On the right, however, it's not quite sure if that's like a hybrid snowboard ski, but it also looks like the proportion of that ski just looks off. So I think that that's a dead giveaway that number two is AI because sometimes it can't deal with those shapes well. So let's see. Number two is AI generated. I knew it. With stuff like this, because I've generated images before, I've gotten similar results when I try to generate skis and snowboards. It still hasn't quite figured that out, but overall it looks really, really believable. Round number seven. Okay, we got some pugs here on paddle boards. Okay, both wearing sunglasses. Immediately on the left, when I'm scanning the image, although it looks very realistic, there's something going on with the tail. The reason why I think number two is real it's because I also had those same pair of glasses for my own dog. Because I have that prior knowledge and because of the foot tail issue on the left, I'm gonna say number one is AI generated. I got it. But if I was just looking at this at a glance, I would think, geez, this is definitely real. Gosh, I'm killing this one. I know that I also did a quiz like this before, so I kind of know what to look for that gives it away. Okay, so here we have a monorail, a little shuttle. The left one, I mean, nothing sticks out. And on the right, Right, immediately it looks like the shuttle itself is very realistic but when I look at the background this is where things start to go wrong because you can see that the windows are not perfectly proportional and in actual architecture everything is precise so I'm gonna go with image 2 as AI yep I knew it. I mean, the building just gave it away. So I got six out of eight, which is much better than the last quiz that I did. So if you've been playing along as well, be sure to leave your score in a comment below. And if you got less than me, that means we have to give this video a thumbs up. You can see that iSog definitely did something impressive here. And I love that it also has good practices when using AI technology, for example, compensating the artist images that are being used to train the AI to generate these images. So I think it's a win-win for the user and for the artists that sell their content on iStock as well. And it's really useful too, rather than spending a lot of time searching for that perfect image in the library, you can just generate your own images as well. So it can help you find the image that you need faster. And let's say you generate some images and you decide you don't wanna use any of those generated images just beneath that, it'll show you a variety of real photos that match the prompt that you search for that you can also use instead. So if you wanna try out iStock's AI generator, I put a link just down below so you can start testing it out. And more importantly, keep creating better videos and photos with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.